Hello everybody, Dr. Chafupu from Wellesley Medical here. April is Irritable Bowel Syndrome Awareness Month. People who suffer from IBS, as well as a lot of other people in the society, have a condition called gluten allergy or gluten intolerance. It's a very common condition and it's very underdiagnosed. That's why I thought giving some information about it would be beneficial to you. Gluten is a protein that's found in barley, rye, and wheat. The disease that's associated with it is called celiac disease. It's an inflammatory disease of the small bowel, and a lot of conditions that are associated with celiac disease are as a result of this uh, inflammation of the small bowel. It's a fairly common condition. About 1% of the society has active celiac disease, but unfortunately out of that 1%, only 20 to 30 percent are diagnosed and they're aware that their condition is from celiac disease. It's more common in uh, women than men, about twice as many women have it than men, and it's more common in adults than children. Also people who suffer from another uh, autoimmune disease like type 1 diabetes, like Sjogren's disease, Addison's disease, which is an adrenal condition, thyroid problems, hyper or hypo, uh, Williams syndrome, Down syndrome, a lot of lupus, a lot of these autoimmune uh, conditions also predispose uh, people more to uh, uh, celiac disease. Also, about 30% of Caucasians are genetically predisposed to it. This doesn't mean that necessarily they have celiac disease, but they, have, that they carry the genes. So how does one know that they have celiac disease, or what are the symptoms that are associated with them? Usually symptoms are some type of an abdominal pain. It could be severe abdominal pain. It could be uh, they would have abdominal obstruction, they could have intermittent diarrhea, constipation, also uh, other conditions like anemia, iron deficiency anemia that doesn't respond to iron intake, or uh, early onset osteoporosis, which doesn't respond to medications that are treated to, uh, that would be used to treat osteoporosis, or calcium and vitamin D. Uh, also weight loss, people that have severe weight loss or they have uh, a condition that's called intersusception that basically loops of bowel go and get tangled into each other. So uh, those are some of the symptoms that are more common symptoms that people present with. If some, in acute cases, usually an endoscopy and biopsy of the duodenum will diagnose the celiac disease, but for someone with mild symptoms like uh, diarrhea, constipation, anemia, a simple blood test if they are taking gluten actively will diagnose it. However, if someone has had the symptoms and has avoided gluten to see if they respond, if they've been off of gluten for more than a couple of months, then the blood test or the biopsy won't uh, show uh, celiac disease any longer. And those people are, uh, are better to get a genetic testing, get genetically tested, and that usually would show it if it is celiac. So what's the treatment for celiac disease? The mainstay treatment obviously is avoidance of any type of uh, gluten containing products. However, that's a lot easier said than done. A lot of our processed food, a lot of the additives to food are made out of wheat, gluten, barley, or rye. So uh, it's, it's hard to, unfortunately, it's hard to avoid it. That's why it's good to, if someone is diagnosed with uh, celiac disease, is to find a local support group and get support from people that are more experienced, also see an expert nutritionist or doctor that uh, deals with a lot of people with celiac disease. Uh, also, fortunately now, there's a lot of awareness in mainstream supermarkets. They usually have a, a section that's dedicated to people with um, uh, celiac disease too. I mean, there's a lot of gluten-free options in restaurants, gluten-free uh, uh, candies, cookies, cakes uh, that uh, are designed for people that have celiac disease basically. If you, have, if you are on a uh, gluten-free diet for celiac disease, then that's the best time to start taking the nutrients that your body was lacking, like iron, like magnesium, selenium, zinc, uh, folic acid, vitamin B12, a lot of fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, uh, E, and vitamin K. Uh, also calcium for people with uh, brittle bones, calcium and vitamin D that could not be absorbed now on a uh, gluten-free diet will be easily absorbed. If you have any questions or uh, you want to contact our office, you're welcome to visit us at www.wellesleymd.com. You can also give us a call at 310-400-5565. Thank you for watching us and have a wonderful day.